Welcome back everybody to another edition of BAM Comics. I'm your host OC and today we're going to get into the news of the PlayStation 5. The biggest entertainment news reveal of the year. Last week's PlayStation 5 showcase was incredible. And to let you guys know that I'm very excited as well. I myself am a PlayStation fan having owned the original PlayStation 1 since 1995 and all the other PlayStations, PlayStation 2, 3, 4, and now the upcoming PlayStation 5. I was just very impressed at all of the games that were debuted in the lineup, um, the reveal of the PlayStation, the design of it. Today we're going to get into some of those uh, topics and we're going to talk about some of the games, some of the games that I'm excited for, top five games that I'm going to uh, buy for the PlayStation 5, and five honorable mentions. So we've been hearing a lot about the PlayStation 5, the technical details of it for over a year now. But last week was the, uh, uh, was the week that many gamers were waiting for for years when president of Sony Entertainment's division, Jim Ryan, uh, he basically unveiled the, uh, the details of PlayStation, the games, and just basically the specs of what PlayStation can do in terms of hardware, and uh, it's just amazing. So let's just get into our five games. First game in the lineup, and mind you, a lot of games were shown. These are my personal five games that I think are going to be great. If you guys have... Um, if you guys agree, if you disagree, if there are games that I didn't mention on the list, please leave a comment below and let me know about those. Um, so the first game in the lineup that took me by surprise, there was a lot of cutesy games shown in the showcase, but the one that really stood out to me coming in at number five is The Little Devil Inside. This game has a unique uh, paper mache aesthetic. It kind of has a Paper Mario look for those of you who saw it. And it really took me by, surpri by surprise. You play a demon hunter that is in a world full of monsters. And uh, this started out as uh, way back in 2015 as a Kickstarter game for the Nintendo Wii U and now it's going to looks like it's a timed console exclusive for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. This game looks absolutely incredible. If you guys have seen the footage of it, I mean, um, it's almost like Shadow of the Colossus meets Paper Mario. Uh, it looks like a big open world and it's something that surprised a lot of the Kickstarter supporters when this game was supposed to come out for Nintendo and now it's going to be revealed as a time exclusive. That's the little devil inside. I'm really excited about this one guys. It looks to be great. Coming in at number four is the one that everyone knows uh, in terms of hardcore gaming. There's a lot of hardcore gamers out there in the gaming world and that is Demon Souls, the remake of the software title for PlayStation 3 from Software Games, Demon Souls. Uh, Blue Point Games is going to be the developer behind this one, guys, and uh, it looks to be really exciting. Uh, I just can't wait to get my hands on Demon Souls. Uh, to, for those of you guys who liked Bloodborne and Dark Souls, Demon Souls is the, uh, as as you would say, maybe. Uh, the, the precursor to all of that, the one who came first, the original. And it looks like it's going to be expanded for the PlayStation 5, Demon Souls. I'm very excited for this gothic title. It's, uh, it's hardcore gaming, you know? There's no power meter, there's no life meter, it's just you versus the demons. And if you get hit, you're dead, and you gotta start all over. So it's, it's a really exciting time to be a PlayStation fan, and of course to be a Demon Souls fan for this remake. I'm eagerly awaiting it. Alright, and let's go to number three on the list. Resident Evil Village. Right? Big Resident Evil fan here. As you guys know, uh, Resident Evil is one of the most popular horror games uh, on any uh, platform, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, 
uh, PlayStation, Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 2, the remake, Resident Evil Village. It looks like we're going back to Resident Evil 4, Leon Kennedy style with villagers. And uh, the trailer opens up with a man, with an older man with a shotgun. And it just looks crazy. I didn't even think it was Resident Evil when I first saw it. And then at the end of the trailer, we see the appearance of Resident Evil veteran Chris Redfield. So this one seems should be exciting. It seems that uh, many of the other elements taken from past Resident Evils will be in this. It looks to be a first-person title. So they did have... Uh, they mixed uh, styles from older Resident Evil games, and this one looks to be crazy. Uh, cinematic, beautiful, and of course Capcom is behind it, so you know Capcom doesn't play when it comes to their games. Resident Evil Village is my number three pick. Number two, coming in at number two, is one of my favorite uh, stealth series of all time, Hitman 3. This title, developed by IO Interactive, is meant to showcase its power on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 when we see that Agent 47 is back for his most personal and professional assignment yet. This game is going to be the conclusion to the World of Assassination trilogy, and I'm really excited to see what the developers have in store for us gamers when we play Hitman 3. Now, uh, as you all know, Hitman 2 was great, combining elements of previous Hitman games. Hitman 3 even seems to be more cinematic and more immersive than ever. That is my number two pick, Hitman 3. And last but not least, folks, the game that I am waiting for, and a lot of you uh, Spider-Man <laughs> fans are waiting for, is of course, no surprise, Insomniac's games, Spider-Man Miles Morales, the sequel to 2018 Spider-Man. Insomniac Games hit it out of the park with this title, and it looks to me like they really want to push the PlayStation 5's uh, you know, power and really want to make people buy that PlayStation 5 as it is an exclusive title to PlayStation 5. Spider-Man My uh, Miles Morales fe features Miles Morales as the in-game central character, and it looks to be an open world much like the original game was. Okay, so those are my top five picks. Number five, The Little Devil Inside. Number four, Demon Souls. Number three, Resident Evil Village. Number two, Hitman 3. And number one, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Definitely five games from the showcase lineup that I'm interested in purchasing when I do get to uh, own a PlayStation 5. Now... Five other games that really uh, caught my attention, although uh, I wouldn't necessarily have them in my must-buy list, they certainly did caught my attention, and I feel that I have to mention them here today. Um, honorable mentions uh, coming in definitely at number five was the Ratchet and Clank game produced by Insomniac Games. Never been one for Ratchet and Clank, but this one... Seems to be a very great platformer that's 3D. Uh, Sony doesn't have uh, a Super Mario type game. So Ratchet and Clank, uh, based on what I saw in, in that showcase, and you guys have seen it, looks to be inc an incredible fun time of just blasted, jumping around, and exploring your world. That's Ratchet and Clank. Next game that I saw, number four, which was really great. Uh, Gran Turismo 7. Now, again, I'm not a really big fan of racing games, uh, but this Gran Turismo 7 seems to have an open world setting. It seems to have garages from what I saw in the in the trailer. It seems to have a, a huge map where you could just store cars in multiple garages across the land. So Gran Turismo 5 with the graphics and the licenses of real cars uh, it just it blew me out of the water just the sound of the game just hearing it and looking at it it felt really good so Gran Turismo 7 is definitely up there another game that is um, interesting to watch that I think many gamers are gonna love is the sequel to Horizon Horizon Forbidden West where we see the extension of the popular Horizon game now for the PlayStation 5 Guerrilla Games hit this game out of the park open world goodness, survival, hunting, 
all that good stuff. Horizon Forbidden West. Next game on the list, uh, honorable mention, was uh, Pragmata. Now, this is a Capcom uh, game. I'm not sure if this is an exclusive title or not, but Capcom just released this weird kind of short teaser trailer for this astronaut who starts off in Times Square, meets a child, and then shoots into space. Uh, Capcom is definitely one of my favorite developers, one that has gotten on my nerves at times. You know, there's a lot of things in, that Capcom does that I don't like, but, you know, on the whole, in terms of graphics and, and unique games like this, they have a certain style that really appeals to me, so uh, I can't wait to see what they do with science fiction and horror put together. So Pragmata is definitely one of my honorable mentions. Uh, and the last game that I saw that that uh, appealed to me as a gamer, as a movie fan, as a comic book fan, uh, and I think this is also an exclusive, is the game Returnal. So you think of uh, Groundhog Day, but on an alien planet. So if you take the movie Groundhog Day and you take Alien Planet and you put them together, you have this game which starts with a main, main female protagonist waking up on an alien planet, crash landing there, dying, coming back to life, and trying to piece the mysteries of how she landed there. Looks like a great puzzle mystery game with action elements. So I'm really excited. I, I even like the title, Returnal. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, so those are my honorable mentions. In terms of the PlayStation 5, there are reports coming out that this console might cost anywhere from uh, $400 to $700. On the, on the website PlayAsia.com, you can actually pre-order it now for $700, according to ComicBook.com. And uh, there are early reports that the system will actually be uh, customizable that uh, you won't have to I mean if you're not a fan of the design that you can actually wait because PlayStation will be releasing different versions of this console uh, as of now we, we got news that there are two versions of this console we have the uh, of course the standalone version that does come with uh, the disk drive and the digital version. So which which one are you guys going to pick up? Are you going to pick up the digital PlayStation or are you going to pick up the one with the disk drive? Let us know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support, guys. We can't do this without you. Big thanks to all of you who are supporting the channel. Follow us on Instagram. Leave a like and subscribe and a comment down below. And uh, peace, guys. Thanks for watching. And this has been my review of PlayStation and my top five games and honorable mentions. Thanks.